Hi, I'm Kay. Thank you so much for joining me for my big review for Stella Monopart by Ellen Villa from the Mordix collection in the colour Bernstein Multi Shad. So let's start with this colour Bernstein Multi Shad. Shad, I think it's either shaded or shadow. Let me know in the comments below if you know what it stands for, but it basically means it's rooted. So you have a really well done root. It's really lovely, really natural, very like subtle, natural root there. You have a base color of a light ash brown. And then you have lots and lots of golden warm blondes. So I think it's a great transition color. If you're a brunette and you want to try a um, blonde color, this might be a really good color to go for. So Stella Monopart is a about chin length, beachy wavy, very cute bob with this yeah, tussled beach waves. You have a bit of a fringe that moves to the side nicely. You have a great extended lace front and I will show you the cap in a minute, but just look at this lace front. They have really taken away all the density at the front, which makes it so natural looking. Really, really nice. Would I pluck it? I probably would, because even though it's really well done, it still has a uniform line, but that's a personal preference. I don't think it needs it. It's just for me, I prefer a little bit more of a irregular line. The mono part is well done. Very natural density there. I don't think I would pluck it. If you feel like you wanted to, you, you can obviously. Um, some people might want to put some makeup on there to make it a bit more flesh colored. But again, personal preferences, personal choices. So let's have a look at Stella Monopart from all sides. Really lovely movement, very nice. The back. And back to the front. Fit-wise, straight out of the box, circumference-wise, it fit me a little bit snug, so I have it on the widest settings now. I'm a 21.5 inch circumference, um, and it now fits very nicely. There is a little bit of bagging, just a little bit. So it might stretch to a average 22, but I bet, you know, check that with the retailer. But there is some room in the back. So I do think it would probably fit a 22 inch above that. Mm, not sure, check that. Um. These are heat friendly fibers. It's one of the reasons I chose this one because I wasn't sure if I like the curl pattern on me. I think certain curl patterns can age me quickly um, and others look really nice and cute. So I wanted something where I could change the, um, the curl pattern if I wanted to, if I felt it was a little bit too aging for me. And the fibers are very soft. They are Gorgeous. Honestly, I cannot stop touching them, which is not a good idea when you have HD fibers, but they do feel lovely, really nice and soft. This is fairly straight out of the box. I have been wearing it for now two hours, but I have brushed it through with my fingers and a brush. Because when it first came out of the box, for me and on me, the, the curls were just too big and it just wasn't very flattering on me. So I felt I had to kind of get rid of the bulk that was around this area here. Personally, I think, I don't think it comes across on the camera quite like it is in real life. For me and on me, I feel I wanna deep hoof <laughs> the curls a little bit more. So I probably would put some heat on and just make it a little bit less of a, of a curl and more of like very subtle waves. Um, because I really want the Esprit, <laughs> uh, but my budget just doesn't stretch to that. So I looked at this and I thought that could be very similar to it. Um, and then 
if I add some heat, I might might get there. Permatease wise, there is a little bit of permatease, but I don't, you know, it's it's hardly noticeable. It's put in the right places. I I I hardly feel it, and the density in itself is very natural. Um, so I think overall it's it's well done in terms of permatease and in terms of density. Um, styling option wise, as I said, this lace front is amazing. So you can pull back the fringe if you want to. And there wouldn't be a problem at all. I quite like on me that you can actually pull it back into a little bit. I mean, it will be a tiny ponytail. But I quite like that look as well. So you have a little bit of this curl coming on, out on the sides. If you pull out these strands and then you still have a little ponytail. Which some people like, some people don't. So I think it's always cute. I'm going to take you through the house outside so you can see the colour in natural light. I was in front of a um, ring light which isn't very strong. Um, I'm now in the conservatory where you have only natural light coming from above and from this side here. So you can get a real idea for this hair colour. And now I'm going outside. It is very sunny today. <laughs> so you get to see these fibres in the sun and you can see the shine is very natural. It's not unnatural shine at all. So if I go in the shade you might be able to see this a little bit better now, this colour. It's so pretty. It's such a pretty colour that they did a really good job with this. It is very similar to light Bernstein Vinted, I would say. It is very pretty. Looking at this lace front outside, very natural. Very pretty. So let's have a look at this cup construction. So here you can see the extended lace front running into the ear taps all the way across to the other, into the mono part, which goes fairly far back and is also fairly wide. So that's quite nice. There's a little bit of permatees here and here. And then you have a wefted cap extended velvet nape with velcro adjusters and here you can see they are on the widest setting so to speak and then we have velvet ear taps with metal stays in them so i hope you enjoyed this review don't forget like and subscribe follow me on instagram on tiktok on facebook um, and if you're watching it anywhere else on youtube as well have a lovely day. Any questions, any comments, let me know below in the comment box and have a fabulous day and I hope I see you soon. Bye.